ladies and gentlemen, look at what I've got here for you. So this is my worksheet on the sector question, which will come out in your exam. And this question is on sectors and finding areas of shaded regions and perimeters of shaded regions. And what I've done for you here is after doing all of these questions, the thing, the content that allowed me to get 100% on all these questions, so what I only really needed to know is right here in this fundamental content. And you'll see that you've got that there for you. And also, I've gone through and answered many, many past paper questions on the sector question, which you can see by just looking at them are very similar. They give you a diagram which has sectors and triangles in them. And you're required to work out areas and perimeters and sides and angles and these sort of things. But I've gone through and done all of these answers, given you all of my answers to all of these questions. Uh, past paper questions. So there's heaps of them here for you. So what you need to do is you need to listen to this video and then afterwards, if you're sitting this exam, just go through this uh, worksheet and you will understand how to answer this question and you'll be very, very confident in the exam when this question comes up because it will come up because it, it comes out every single year. So there's many, many, many answers here for you of all these past paper questions and it took me a while but this is very very useful if you're sitting the exam so let's just quickly run through this fundamental content so the sector question is invo involving sectors which is this sector looks like this is just a proportion of a circle and in order to answer this question you're going to need to know a few things and those few things are you're going to need to know the arc length how to calculate the arc length and how to calculate the area of a sector so that's given down here so this is the area of the sector given by this formula half r squared theta where theta is in radians and you're also going to need to uh, be able to find the length of an arc I mean the area of the, you're going to be able to need to find the arc length and the area of a sector which is given here you're also going to need to uh, be able to find basic things involving triangles like lengths and angles and areas. And I actually have some old videos which will get you up to speed with these, this sort of stuff uh, very quickly. But there's lots of uh, videos out there which help explain how to calculate these things. So this is just your Sokotoa and finding lengths and angles. You need to be able to change between radians and degrees. And a tip that I make sure that when you're about to do this question that your calculator is in radians because they always ask it in radians. So there will be some way for you to change your calculator from degrees to radians. So make sure you do that. You're also going to need to be able to find areas of triangles, which is simply just half base times height. And mainly what they give you is right angle triangles and isosceles triangles. And the way to find that is just half base times height. And for an isosceles triangle, it's just the height is here and the base is there. And you should go away and understand that and be able to do that for triangles. But you'll gain a lot of understanding by just going through the worksheet and doing the questions and following my answers. Um, just a note here that the internal angles of a triangle always sum up to 180. You might need to use that knowledge. Um, sometimes and finally you, you need to know your special triangles so this is just a way for you to get exact values of these trig functions so for example if you wanted sine 60 well you just look you just look at this uh, special triangle you go, well sine 60 is opposite over hypotenuse which is square root 3 over 2 and that's the exact value of it and then you've got all these exam questions and where you will have to implement this fundamental content Cool. Another thing which I feel like I left out there is that you know you also need to know Pythagoras' theorem, which is just involving the lengths of triangles, length of the side of you have like A, B, C, I'm, I'm assuming you already know this. Uh, C squared equals, which is the hypotenuse, equals uh, A squared plus B squared. So that's just a, that's just another thing. And I have a video on that as well. And I'll put I'll put those videos in the link of the description if you need to just you know, a little catch up on that. So yeah, so let's just do a question to give you, to reinforce that information. Um, so they always give you a diagram which involves sectors and triangles. 
that's guaranteed. And they usually ask you to find the area of a shaded region, which is given here, and the perimeter of that shaded region. So in this example, we want to find in terms of alpha, which is this angle here, the area of the shaded region. So what we do is we go I. So we first say, well, how is it? How do we find the area of the shaded region? Well, the area of the shaded region is going to equal to the area of this triangle, the area of this triangle minus the area of the sector. You should be able to see that. Because if we minus the area of the sector from the area of the triangle, we get the shaded region here. And a good tip for this question is to always just take your time and work each thing out individually. Just ask yourself, what do I need to find this? Well, this is what we need. So what is the area of the triangle? Well, it's half base times height. And our base is 4 centimeters here, which is AB. So we'll just write AB times our height, which is BC. So that's the area of the triangle. And well, that's just half 4 times um, BC. And BC is just this length here. And we can find that through our SOHCAHTOA, our sine uh, functions, because we know that this is the opposite. And we have been given this bottom length, which is 4 centimeters. And this is the adjacent to this um, angle so we can say that our tan alpha equals opposite which is our BC length over our adjacent which is four centimeters so therefore our BC will equal four tan alpha so that means that our BC will be four tan alpha if we just simplify that out we'll, we'll get uh, eight tan alpha Cool, so that's the area of our triangle in terms of alpha. And next, we'll find the area of our sector, which, if we look on our formula sheet, is given here on this fundamental content, which is half r squared theta, where theta is this angle here of the sector, and r is our, the, length, the radius of the circle. So in this case, our half, or our r, is... 2 centimeters, so it's half 2 squared times our alpha, which is, I mean, our um, angle, which is alpha. So that equals half, or 4, half of 4 is 2, so this is just 2 alpha. So then we can then find the area of our shaded region, which is just the area of the triangle, which is 8 tan alpha minus the area of the sector which is 2 alpha, and that's the answer to part 1. The next part asks you to find the perimeter of this shaded region in terms of alpha again. Well, again, to do this, all you need to do is just split it up. Don't overcomplicate it. Over it. So the perimeter of the shaded region is going to equal to, well, let's just have a look. It's going to be DE plus EB plus BC plus DC. It's going to be all the sum of all these lengths here. So it's going to be D, oh, it's going to be DE, DE plus EB plus BC plus DC. Now let's just work out all of these components individually. So first DE, well, what is DE? Well, DE is just this arc length. And, well, our arc length is just r theta, where theta is in radians, and it is in radians, so we're all good there. So this is r, which is 2, and alpha, so r alpha. And then our eb. Well, our eb is just ab minus ae, which is just well, a, the length ab minus ae which if you look at the diagram is just 4 minus 2 because this is just the radius of the circle of the sector so it's 4 minus 2 so 4 minus 2 which equals 2 now let's move to BC BC well BC we found in the previous part which is 4 tan alpha 4 tan alpha 
and then finally DC and DC well DC is going to equal to AC minus AD so AC minus 2 so it's going to be AC minus our AD and our AD is just 2 it's just the radius so what is our AC well again we can use these um, you know, angles of right angle triangles and lengths of right angle triangles, all that good stuff. We can use these and well, we can say that our AC, so this is our opposite adjacent hypotenuse to this, to this angle, and our adjacent is four, we're given that, and our hypotenuse is AC. So that means that we can say cos alpha, because cos is adjacent over divided by hypotenuse. So this equals 4 over our length AC. So therefore our AC equals um, 4 over cos alpha. So then this equals, our DC equals 4 over cos alpha minus 2. So then we have all of the parts to make that make up the perimeter. So therefore our perimeter of the shaded region is DE, which is R alpha, oh, well, R, sorry, our R is 2, right? So this is 2 alpha plus R EB, which is 2, plus R BC, which is 4, tan alpha, plus R DC, which is 4 over cos alpha minus 2. You see these twos will just cancel out, so you get a final result of 2 alpha plus 4 tan alpha plus 4 over cos alpha. And that's the perimeter length right there. And this is a great example of how they like to ask the sector question. And when you go through the worksheet, you'll see that they ask it in a similar manner every time. Maybe they just change up the diagram in different ways. I just want to say that most of the work that I put into these videos is in these worksheets. I do so many past paper questions for you, which allows me to have a very good understanding of how they go about asking this question and what you need to know to answer this question. So please, I urge you, if you're taking this exam, download the worksheet and go through it because by the time you finished it and gone through all my answers and understand, um, understood my answers you'll be very 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 good in the exam for this question very good you'll get a, you will get a hundred percent I can pretty much guarantee that if you understand all the answers uh, in my worksheet uh, that's pretty much it for this question I will hopefully do some more in the future if you could put down, in the, if you're going to sit your exam soon, if you could put down in the comments, it'd be helpful if you put down when you're, you're sitting your A-level paper one exam so I can sort of produce or get, get all these questions out for you to put you in great stead for your exam. Um, but that's all from me, and I'll see you in the next video.